action packed night at Friday Night Lights here in Gainesville in the swamp uh, over at the IPF to start. Came over the swamp to kind of finish off with the one on ones. Probably the highlight of the day were the quarterbacks. Uh, of course, five star quarterback Justin Fields. Um, Carter Bradley looked good. Um, you know, Harrison Bailey. Yeah, Harrison Bailey, 2020 quarterback. Um, you know, what, what were kind of the takeaways for you today? Well, after the last couple of days watching Harrison Bailey throw the ball in the 2020 class, the kid is very, very solid. I mean, he has a very strong arm, has great touch with the football. He's very, very accurate, and he has a very quick release as well. He's someone that really stood out. And obviously, watching Justin Fields, I mean, the guy's a stud. I mean, he can really throw the deep ball very well. Yeah, Fields was definitely impressive. Uh, another takeaway for me was how solid this 2019 class is. I mean, they don't sign for a long time, but they were a real close-knit group. Um, most of them didn't participate, but I mean, they were just together the whole night, hanging out, recruiting other guys. I mean, the 2018 commits here were all helping recruit. Um, Potentially some big news coming. Uh, Justin Fields, potentially. Uh, Matt Corral, I think, I think dipped out early so we could talk to him. But Richard Guraj possibly could be committing. So um, some great talent here, you know, in the sk in skill positions and on the offensive line as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think one thing I noticed was the camaraderie between the quarterbacks. You know, seeing, you know, Bailey Fields and. Uh, um, Corral, Bradley, Charles yeah, Talkins. Yeah, they were all, you know, hanging out together, and that was awesome seeing all the um, the current recruits for Florida. They were all hanging out, having a good time. So, I mean, I think overall, you know, it was a very successful couple of days, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, definitely stay tuned tomorrow for more coverage from InsideTheGators.com.